I'm kind of a science geek <laughs> and I've been studying lemurs and Madagascar for about 25 or 30 years now. The Duke Lemur Center has the largest collection of endangered primates anywhere on earth. They're just, you know, incredible creatures, magnificent. So Drusilla's mom, she's got the info on her back and her name is Calpurnia. Aren't they the coolest? 100% of the species of naturally occurring mammals in Madagascar are unique to Madagascar, like the lemurs. You know, you'll see them nowhere else on Earth. My fascination with Madagascar started in my early 20s, and I took my first trip there when I was 26. It was like, you know, being Dorothy going to Oz, really. You can be in the woods and you can say, well, that's a tree, but what kind of tree? You know, it was a tree you've never seen before. It's just remarkable. Madagascar is a biodiversity hotspot, is defined as a place where the diversity is unique to that place and also under severe threat. Of course, global warming, climate change, that is going to have big impacts on lemurs and, and all of the biota of Madagascar. Almost 20% of primate species diversity is found in Madagascar. So you lose the lemurs and you lose Madagascar and you've wiped out you know, almost 20% of primate species diversity like that. You know, we don't have time to wait for natural selection to adapt them to a warmer and different climate, so they're going to need to move. So we're now working very devotedly to try to understand the distribution of forests and to protect some of these forest corridors. One of the things that we're very interested in right now here at the center is the fact that mouse lemurs develop a disease that's very similar to Alzheimer's disease. So we're very interested in studying this phenomenon in the hopes that it can inform our understanding of Alzheimer's disease in humans, and so there's a direct impact to human health. I love being in academia. The passion drives the science, and the science drives the discovery, so I love being part of that.